if we don't sleep, we don't function. And it can get worse if we're completely re sleep restricted. So sleep disorders are typically impacting in one way or another on either sleep quality or sleep quantity. So as long as sleep is working well, there's no problem. But if sleep is disturbed, then it becomes a problem. They might not be able to do their job. They might be more likely to have road traffic accidents. And eventually in the long term, this is also left untreated a very significant cardiovascular risk factor due to the nocturnal stress of permanently working very hard, waking up sometimes hundreds of times every night um, just in order to continue to breathe. In the field that I'm researching, sleep apnea, it's typically the fragmented sleep leaving the patient excessively sleepy the next day and due to the permanent sleep fragmentation not going through a typical night of deep sleep and dream sleep cycles but permanently staying in a very superficial sleep state which then ends up with an unrefreshing state when you wake up and the consequence of having problems functioning in terms of memory but also physiologically. So there are huge implications of how sleep affects the physiology, how it leads to very common problems in the general population like high blood pressure. And, and, and this is something where we can very quickly, sometimes within a night, make a huge change to the patient's lives. Because if we suddenly start to treat, for example, sleep apnea, uh, things change. And that can not only guarantee a better health, a better long-term health, but also save your marriage or avoid a road traffic accident. Uh, so, so there are very, very grateful patients awaiting to be treated. Mm -hmm.